coming up on Haynes Garage. Tires 101, everything you need to know to make a well-informed tire purchase. In our four-part series, we will go inside the numbers, make sense of speed ratings, identify performance and value options, and discuss proper care and maintenance for long tire life. With Haynes Repair Manuals, you can do it. Haynes shows you how. We're with Kerry Lutz here at the Tire Man. And Kerry, thank you. Good to be with you again. You are the Tire Man, but really the brand of the business is called the Tire Man Store here in Thousand Oaks, California. You're the general manager over 20 employees. I know I've got that right. You got it. They're all over the place here. They sell thousands of tires every month, and they're within walking distance of our Haynes Garage, so we know them well. Kerry, we're looking at a perfectly good tire here. I want to give it to you and ask you to tell us, when you're looking at a brand new tire, ain't that pretty. It's like going to the dentist and getting your teeth cleaned. You're like, this is the way it's supposed to be. And then two or three months later, you're saying, yeah, I think maybe I'll floss next week. Well, you know, we're supposed to floss every day. When it comes to tires, you could inspect your tires every day like they do in aircraft. Not a bad idea. But before you drive your car, certainly once every month or two or three weeks, when you gas up, take a look at your tires. Look underneath, walk around all four corners, and let's do what Kerry tells us to do. Easy to see a good tire. What's a bad tire look like? What are some of the things to look for? Perfect. So we do have a new tire here. We could get up an old tire, probably show some stuff we're not seeing here. Right. But I can explain to it what it is that we need to look at. One of the most important things you said is air pressure. And every car made right now has a placker inside the door on the driver's side, you can open up your driver's side door and see what your cold tire pressure should be. Right. Go by those numbers. It keeps your tire pressure sensors happy. So TPMS, yes. Tire Pressure Monitoring System. I love these, you know, Uniform Tire Quality Grading, UTQG, yeah. and also PSI, pounds per square inch. Okay. So you have the number, I'm following. Yeah. You're saying it'll tell you on the car. Front and car. rear may be different. Uh, you're exactly right. And don't forget the spare. Yes. And then make sure you do it when they're cold, like you said. Yeah. Tell, let's talk about why, why this being cold matter to you. What do you want people to understand? Well, tires, as we know, create, generate heat when you're running down the road. Right. So if I'm at the shop and I'm checking air pressure and you've driven 200 miles and you roll in, they're going to be hotter than if you drove two miles. And, and the you air expands. expands. Increases air pressure. Right. And gives you a false negative. Right. So the most baseline is to do it when they're cold. And you're going to lose about a pound of pressure per month. Just by porous rubber. Just by driving and porous rubber, yeah. That's so, not fair. So you got to keep an eye on your air I'm pressure. I'm telling you. We know that, okay. right? Okay. <laughs> what about when we go across the tire tread? It should wear uniformly like this, but it doesn't sometimes. And that's our main goal, is to keep it wearing uniformly. So there's stuff that you can learn by looking at your tire and the way they wear. If you're getting wear on both outside shoulders of the tire, obviously you're underinflated. The center sinking, you're wearing on the shoulders, you're wearing out the tires. But that's not so sure. obvious to some people. I mean, let me just check in, and I don't mean to be contrary. No. But obviously, if you're wearing on both sides of the outside, you're, you're underinflated because the tread is not being pushed. It's like a balloon. If it's inflated properly, they should all wear evenly. You should wear clear across the tire. You could have outside wear if you're one of these people like me who maybe takes a turn fast here and there. That wears automatically. You can still have the right tire pressure. Correct. So if you yeah. have outside wear on both sides and you've been checking your tire pressure, slow down on the turns. A little bit. I'm yeah. just kidding. But <laughs> you're, you're telling on yourself, Steve. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I really do drive pretty conservatively. Yeah. But every now and then, everybody likes to say, this car handles pretty well. Let me show you what I'm doing this on ramp, you know, yeah. or whatever. But the reality is, Tire pressure does affect the wear. 100%. So if I constantly overinflate, you're saying if I constantly overinflate, I'm going to prematurely wear the center. Exactly. And if I don't inflate enough, I'll prematurely wear the outside. Yeah. Why is that exactly? The, the tire actually goes concave? And yes. It, and it and sinks if, in? And if you think about it, if you're running a concave tire or a convex tire, you're not getting optimal wear, but yeah. you're also not getting optimal prefer performance handling and braking. Okay. So you're not you're not doing yourself a favor, you're not doing your tire a favor. Perfect. So tire pressure, uniform tire wear, checking your pressure cold, yep. once a month, once every few weeks. Once a month is sufficient. Okay. Tire pressure monitoring systems are a wireless connection with your tires that tells you the pressure. Before that was on cars, if you don't have TPMS, you, you need to visually look at your tires just about every fill up because you may not catch it. Nothing yeah. else is going to tell you except you looking. It was a bigger job taking care of your tires without yeah. TPMS. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a great, it's a pain in the neck if you're a tire guy because I got people coming in, they're one pound off, they want it perfect. Yeah. 
but it is a great invention. It saves blowouts, it saves tires, it saves gas. It's kind of like it's I think, everything. I think the manufacturers kind of gave up on us and said, they're not checking their yeah. tire pressure. Let's put a tire pressure monitoring system right. in there. What's next? How do you read a tire? Another what else thing is that you're going to see a lot on tires, I see it every day, all day, you'll get bad wear on one side or the other. Right. Whether it be inside or outside of the tire. Automatically, you know you got an alignment problem. So as kids, we grew up, our dad always said, hey, if the car doesn't pull, then you, you don't need an alignment. Right. If it does pull, you need an alignment. Uh -uh. Not really the Too case. Too late. Too late. Your best indication of alignment is looking at your tires. You start seeing some inside wear or some outside wear, you're going to know immediately you got an alignment problem. But also, another very good indication with alignment, if you're driving down the road and your steering wheel's crooked, you need an alignment. Yeah, somebody hit a curb. You can sit in your car and see that. You don't yeah. even have to look at your tires. Yeah. Once a year, twice a, every other year. You should, you should check it once a year, yeah. or if you know he, you hit something hard enough that, hey, i got to get in and get an alignment. And I'm sorry, I'm going to look like I'm working for you, but I will say this. When you buy new tires, you better be sure your alignment's good because the warranty is not made to cover bad suspension, worn suspension, and bad alignment. So independent of the warranty, you're buying brand new tires and spending $600 to $1,000 or more. Or more. You have alignment done, it gives you optimal wear. Am I right? That is correct. So today, this week at Tire Man, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Okay. You know, $100 to $150 alignment, it's worth every penny you spend. So don't go year Do after year and waiting until something's wrong. Have right. it inspected. Right. Okay, so blowouts. Blowouts are, I see them on a daily basis and it should never happen. Is it more sidewall blowouts or center section? What's, your, what's the main cause of blowouts? Well, the main cause of blowouts is running low on air pressure, not paying attention. But we're heating the tire. Yeah. What okay. you'll do is you run over a screw or a nail. Yeah. You lose air pressure, sometimes slowly, sometimes rapidly. Tire heats up very quickly and blows out. Okay. There we go. TPMS sensors will save you from having a, a blowout. Alert you before. You know exactly when you're losing air. Okay. And it doesn't take long, Steve, for a tire to blow out once you start to lose air pressure. You build up heat very quickly, and man, the tire will blow on you like that. Any slight weakness in the sidewalk. Absolutely. Please talk about what you do with your car, what you tell your family to do to inspect a tire, walking around visually. So we all stop for gas, and it takes you five minutes to, to check, you know, to get gas. And right. to walk around and look at the tires. If you ever see a bubble in the side of all the tire. A little, like a bulge. Yeah, it's, it's done. You've ruined the tire. If a tire's more than five years old, you need to get in and start getting some tires. By the way, five years is the maximum tire life according to tire, tire guys, yes. right? Tires don't necessarily look bad on the outside when they're going bad. They can crack where you can't see it from the inside out. Am I right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so they corrode inside out. You know, that's something we haven't covered, Steve. On the sidewall of the tire, of every tire, it tells you the date, the date. of manufacturing. Can I test myself? Absolutely. So this is a 2-0. Okay, so what does 2-0 mean? 2020. Okay, so 2 0 means the 20th week of 21. Ah, it's so great. See, <laughs> you think you know something and then you got to talk to a tire man. Don't spoil my comfort in what I think I know. So, so the 20 is 20. the 20th week of, see, so this is 2021. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> 2021. He's the tire man. I'm just trying to ask questions. I was actually testing you. Okay, 2021, 20th week of the 21st year. Yes. You got me. Yep. So it's 2021, 20th week. Right. Perfect. Now the So check your tires if the five years are older. Exactly. I got that right. Yeah. Okay. Now the manufacturers will vary a little bit on that. They say they'll give you a five-year warranty from the date of purchase. So keep in mind, some of these tires are coming in from overseas. It takes six months to get them here. Offloaded into a tire store. It could be store. a year before it's it on your car. It could be a year before it goes on your car. Okay. Is so that okay with the rubber? It is because they're not under the pressure of the vehicle. They're not sitting in the sun. They're not inflated. They're not in the heat. Good. They're sitting under lights like this in 70 degree weather. They're safe. So, okay. you know, the clock starts when they're mounted. Yes. Now, you don't want to go into a, a gas station who's had four tires on a rack for nine years and mount those. Completely different story. That's why you want to go to a good tire store. Buy your tires from a good tire store. Like Tire Man. That's busy. Because <laughs> okay. then it's not sitting on my shelves for yeah. three years sure. and you buy them. There's turnover here. Yeah. These are all fresh. But this number is somewhat flexible. So if yours are five years old, you don't have to immediately go out and buy them, but you should look and see when the date of purchase was and consult one of your tire people so they can look at them for you. Hey, Carrie, anything else to look at? No, That's pretty I, good. I, I think we covered going down the, road. the most important stuff. Right. Well, on behalf of us again at Haynes Garage, I want to encourage you to subscribe here on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, give us your feedback about your projects and your questions and what's going on with your motoring world, and follow us on Instagram as well. We wish you safe motoring. Keeping your car wise, I'm Steve Ford.